We're here tonight to make sure that you are aware that we are in contract negotiations. We've been in contract negotiations now for over 12 months with no fair and equitable contract to either us or to the safety side, which is 3631. We're asking you to please stand up, have your person that's on our board, take that leadership role, make some advancements, give us a fair and equitable contract, not only for the non-safety, but for the safety. What we want you to know tonight is that we need leadership. We're asking you as the city council to implore your person that's on our JPA to stand up, stand up for the people that you employ. We are your employees. We are here when you call. The men and women of OCFA are your employees. They are not simply a contracted service. Your employees and our members are the 911 dispatchers, fleet mechanics, fire inspectors, nurse educators, as well as dozens of other classifications that make sure our firefighters and paramedics can get to the scene and save lives. The management at OCFA does not care about the employees. They're not concerned about us at all. I'm here to speak to you, to encourage you to reach out to the JPA members, to your uh, neighboring cities, to those councils, to encourage their JPA members to come back to the negotiating table to speak to us. Currently, the priority of the department isn't that of the employees. It seems to be uh, all kinds of myriad of other projects. We are, we're looking to spend $80 million on helicopters instead of taking care of our employees. Rarely do we see more than 30% of our JPA board at any meetings. We look at black screens most of the time, thus translating into a significant drop in engagement on significant matters. With record-breaking inflation as it is, and other city employees and fire agencies receiving cost of living adjustments, we are again left with nothing. I stand with the people that protect us. I know that they're getting constantly forced to work extra hours and extra shifts. Um, it's an enormous burden on their families. It's really important for us to remember that they're there when we call for them, and we need to be them, there for them now. They're essential workers. We all talked a great game about how, how important essential workers were just you know a year ago, and now here we are looking at them facing no contract for this long period of time. The OCFA Board of Directors seems to think that this is reasonable as they have not moved from this position. There are consequences to drawing out this negotiation. I'm personally seeing morale sink lower, trust in the organization is decreasing, and others are looking for other work opportunities. Time is critical. Your emergency workers are being neglected and the agency is suffering. Ironically, it is these very public servants who are charged with keeping this community safe who are now being denied a fair contract by OCFA. Your commitment to public safety and the safety of your constituents requires you to act. I come to you tonight to demand OCF leaders move to pro provide OCFA workers with a contract that includes the fair wages and benefits that they deserve. You're two blocks from my house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In case we have a fire, all of them. Two blocks from that little one Excuse me, could you address the city council? I will. Okay. Thank the firemen.